YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today we have a massive video, a lot of stuff to talk about. It was Friday, new promo, bunch of content. It's the weekend. The weekend is a great time to be trading, great time to be investing. We have a low budget investment for today's video. Low budget, low risk. You're likely going to get like a 50% return, maybe even double your coins. So we'll be talking about that. We'll look at the new promo cards. Just kind of going over a lot of stuff on the market. But before we go into all that, we got to talk about content today on Friday. If you want to have millions of coins in FIFA 23 like me, go to u7buy.com for cheap, fast, and reliable FIFA coins. Make sure you use code TEDDY at checkout to get 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. Content today on Friday was pretty dope. We got lightning rounds, pack supply, that's always expected, but we got the Depay SBC today and he's not super expensive. I think it's like 350K. You gotta remember it's a live card, five-star skill moves, three-star weak foot. You can play left wing as well. So that's interesting striker, of course, but his stats are pretty solid, especially for a live card. And, you know, three-star weak foot, he has the outside of the foot shot trait. So if you do play him left wing, the Travella shots, far post, he should be pretty solid with that. What's his long shot? Might want to boost that a little bit. 87 long shot, 91 shot power though. Pretty solid. Could end up being a very good card. And I believe, I think that was it for SBCs today. Let me just make sure. Oh, um, no, that refreshed on Thursday. I think the mid icon player pick is gone. I don't think that's there anymore. And that is it for that. We had the... Lightning rounds, of course, but let's go take a peek at the new promo cards. I packed one of them. I saved my 85 plus player picks. I only did two. I thought I was, I tried to do them every day, but I think I just completely forgot. I only had two of them and I packed this dude right here. Really fun card. I think both, no, not both games. I've played two games. The first one, the dude rage quit. The second one, I played it through. I've enjoyed his card. It's actually like a uh, He's solid. The way he moves and everything. I'm really, really liking the card at the moment. If you want to try him out, four-star skills, five-star weak foot, definitely someone you could look to boost your team. Now, we're going to look at the team like this. We're going to go concept players just so I can show you guys. I want to talk about some of these cards. They've been moving around, and I think maybe... You know, if you're watching this video early, potentially look out for some overnight flips. Alexi Sanchez, this dude was down at, I think, 650,000 coins around there. Maybe even a little less. He ended up going, I think he was less, actually. He may have been almost the 500k range. Uh, I told you guys yesterday in yesterday's video, if you want to flip these cards, the 10 to 15 minute window after content is when cards are low and they rebound from there. We saw... This Sanchez, it's exactly what happened with him. He was, I think he may, he was around 600K, maybe a little less, maybe a tad bit more. He went all the way to over a million coins. He was almost 1.1 million coins, this card right here. Kind of crazy. This guy just subbed off stream. Thank you, Koro, Kiwi. I appreciate that, man. He's joining the VIP Discord. He subbed with Amazon Prime. If you have Amazon Prime, you can subscribe to my Twitch channel and join the, the VIP trading Discord for free. Anyone a sub? joins the VIP Discord for free. Just type exclamation point link in the Twitch chat and it tells you how to join the Discord. So Sanchez, I think rarity and stuff like that, he might go crazy overnight. He's one of the cards just because I was like, he went to like almost 1.1 mil and he's back down in price actually. Let me just take a peek. How much is he? He's back down in price to almost 700K. So that's definitely one of the cards I'm watching for overnight flips. Isak potentially for overnight flips. He's up at 430. I want him to come back closer to maybe 400K. Right now it's 7 p.m., almost 7 p.m. Eastern, Eastern Standard Time when I'm filming this video. The low point is sometimes in like a couple hours, maybe 9 to 12 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. That's around when you might be seeing um, a kind of a low for overnight flips. But yeah, here's the promo team. Urente Nasty, Saliba Nasty. A lot of solid cards. I want to point out this guy as well. This Fernando can play center back. So I think there's actually going to be a good amount of hype around this card. His team sucks though. Sevilla is terrible. He might only get one upgrade, two upgrades if he is lucky. So there's that with those cards. And I want to watch Angelino too. That's another one where I'm like, if he gets an upgrade, I know they're not that good, but he could be looking decent. Now, this is where it's crazy. I called this out on stream and one of my viewers actually managed to get it. The Fantasy Foot Heroes... EA messed up like every single price range on these cards. I don't know what they were thinking, but there are only three fantasy foot cards, uh, heroes, foot fantasy heroes on the market. Only three. And that is Cordoba, 
Ricken and Captavilla. All the other ones are extinct. By the way, they randomly gave Peter Crouch five star skill moves. So he's six foot seven with five star skills and three star weak foot. Really interesting card. And I think his live his live stats are based off of Liverpool as well. So maybe I know Liverpool are terrible, but you know, if they pick up some form, he could be getting the plus two upgrade, I believe, that heroes can get. So that's pretty dope there. Could be a nice card. But these cards, oh my god. All the price ranges are wrong. Uh, the one that stands out the most, though, is this guy right here. Five million coins is his max price range. I think I mentioned it in yesterday's video. I think this dude would be like a 10 million coin card. And they made him a five mil max price range. So I said on stream immediately, you know, you guys might want to snipe this guy at five mil. It's really freaking hard. I tried for like 10 minutes. I know 10, 10 15 minutes. I didn't even see one pop up and um it, it's it's tough even if it does pop up the bots are all over it i have a guy in my stream he has a bot he sniped one for five mil he's probably gonna make a, a shitload of coins off of it and um he also said he has a bot and he missed like five i mean if you don't have a bot good luck but if you can snipe them i, I think there's a crap load of coins the other ones not too sure maybe pele at one five i'm not I'm not too sure on the rest. Like, cool, I'm not sure exactly. Crouch, I'm not sure on. King, maybe Pele would be the one where I'm like, okay, because he's been extinct the entire time. So there's that with the new promo and all that. Uh, where are we on to next? Let's go on to the notebook. We talked about pack supply, all the fluctuations, how it was crazy. Let's get into investments real quick. You guys kind of saw it when I started the video. You got a little sneak peek of everything. I bought a crap load of Atolls. This was kind of a FOMO buy, I'm not gonna lie. It was like, man, I'm, I'm missing out on all these road to the finals. I, I'm i just gonna send it even though I'm overpaying. I paid about 280K on average, I would say. I picked up some at like 284, but then I got a bunch of snipes at like 270. I bought a few last night for like 265, I think. And I got one for around 254 as well, so. I have a few Atolls that lower my average buy price. I'd say an average of 280 is what I paid. And he, I think he's going for like 285 right now. Uh, the low was definitely yesterday on Thursday for these cards. It's just when it comes to them, I'm not sure if they're going to drop because they play their games upcoming. And when we look at the fantasy foot cards, they don't upgrade for another two weeks at least. They can't start potentially getting upgraded for another two weeks. These cards play their games he plays his game on Thursday. We look at Malin. He plays his game on Tuesday. We called out Malin today on stream. A few of them. Uh, if you have any of the roads to the finals, I just want to say hold. You, you probably should have bought some of them already. I mean, some of them are actually kind of low. They're, they're not that high. We're seeing a few that are somewhat low. Like Raspadori's down at 270 right now. Uh, Calvin Phillips back down at around 630. If you could get him for the low 600s, that's not terrible. Uh, Malin though is up and Mora. I, I told you guys the three that I really liked, which was Malin, Lucas Mora, and um, Atal. Those were the three that I liked. Malin, he's up a good chunk. He's like two 126. And Mora, we were buying for close to 200K. He's 220. So they're definitely up in price. And I really think they're just going to keep rising. Now, if you have road to the finals, it's up to you on whether or not you want to hold. By the way, Brooks here. I probably should have mentioned the big blob on my bed. Uh, it's up to you with road to the finals if you want to hold or not. Someone like Malin and Lucas Moore. If they win their games, they're going to go up a ton. A lot. Lucas Moore gets a double upgrade. Malin gets a double upgrade. They will go up a good chunk. Like a good amount but it's up to you if you want to sell before the game and be safe or hold and you know hope that they win the game that's that's the tricky part if we look at spurs all the betting sites have spurs beating ac milan if we look at dortmund they have chelsea winning but because chelsea's at home but like chelsea have scored one goal and i think like five weeks you can't win a game if you don't score so i'm a bit weird with that one i'm not sure how that's gonna go I honestly, I think the gamble on Dortmund might be decent. They're in hot form. They just beat Leipzig today as well. Also, with this at all, I'm lazy listing. I'm listing like stupid, stupid high. It's an investment and I'm like, all right, I'll just list them at a really high price, 350 to 370 is what I'm doing. And if I sell one, 
I make a shitload of coins. If I don't, it's whatever. They're just sitting here doing nothing. I'll let you guys know in tomorrow's video if I get any sales. I've literally, I've just been doing this all day ever since I bought them. I haven't got a single sale yet, but if I get one sale, I think it's like 50 to 60K profit around there. Almost 70K profit, depending on which one sells. So, I mean, if I get a sale, dope. That's what I wanted to say with Road to the Final Cards and those investments. And now let's move on to Fantasy Foot Cards. I think we kind of mentioned Fantasy Foot Cards a little bit. The new promo cards. They, as an investment, I wouldn't really be buying right now. I would only buy the Fantasy Foot Cards. I'm just going to, how many more do I have to list? I'll, I'll list the rest. I wouldn't be buying the Fantasy Foot Cards as an investment. It would really only be as a flip. Because once again, they don't upgrade for two weeks. They can't possibly upgrade for another two weeks. So I don't want to like buy them and hold them for a while. If anything, it would be buy tonight and then sell maybe tomorrow in the morning like three to four hours before content because what happens is we had all the supply from today and they're and they're kind of cheap but then people want to use these cards there's not like too much supply because they've only been in packs for one day so they're rare and they rise overnight that's why i'm kind of maybe watching alexi sanchez uh, I want to watch the Isak and then maybe Fernando. Let me just pull up the team real quick. I'm going to pull it up on Footbin. Foot Fantasy. So Alexi Sanchez for sure. Isak for sure. Llorente's already risen a good amount. Saliba's up a good amount. I'm not watching him. Maybe Fernando. Yeah, that's how I would do it. So Fernando, Isak, and Sanchez. Those are the three cards I want to watch. Sanchez has maybe some of the most potential to rise a lot just because of the fact that the dude was over a million coins at one point today. And it wasn't like he came out and he was just released and he was a mil. It was like he came down to 600 around there and then rose to one mil. So let me just look him up real quick. Alexi Sanchez. That's a former Arsenal player. A legend. All right. Let's go. What was he? 730? I think 730. About 730k. I'm just keeping an eye on him. Watch him. If you're looking to maybe do this flip, just kind of watch the card and see when he starts to get bought up. Sometimes what I do is I'll go like 750. I'll go a little higher. Might have to go like 770. So I'll go at 770 and I'll see how many. Let's look them up on the market uh, so I can kind of show this for you guys. This is a good way to monitor if a card's being bought up or if it's getting sold and it's dropping a little bit. So we'll go. I shouldn't have done it this way. There's too many Sanchez's, so it's really hard to type his name in. So if you're looking to buy a card and you just kind of want to know if he's going up in price or down in price, I do it like this. So I'll go 770. He's like 730 right now. And I'll see how many pages are there at 770K. It looks like there's two pages. And you just want to kind of monitor it. All right, there we go. So I fixed it. Sometimes it does that. So 770, it seems like there's five pages of him at 770,000 coins. So I'll come back. You would want to come back in like 10 minutes, 5, 10 minutes and refresh again at 770 and be like, okay, are there 10 pages or are there now three pages at 770? And that can help you realize um, kind of if a card's going up or is it going down? The market's kind of glitchy right now, though. It's not necessarily letting me search the exact amount because watch, it says two pages. But if I do this, what happens? I don't know why the market is really weird sometimes, but that's just the way you can kind of check the card. And like I said, overnight flips and that's, that's it trading today. Let's move on to that trading bids. The fodder filter stuff like that was good. People were winning 83 overall cards for 800 coins. Some like the 82 filter. You guys know the 82 filter. We talk about this all the time. It's a good way to bid on 82 overall cards. You go through and just go bid on the 82s. It's a really easy way to make some coins. It was really good at content with all the supply that was coming through. And it's such an easy way to make coins. It really is just 82, boom, go look for cards. Now that we're kind of talking about some of these bidding filters, fodder filter, all that, you know, good. Let's move on to the investments. I don't want to talk about the past with all the trading. Yes, it was good today. Bids were good. Okay, let's move on. Now, investments. This is what most of you guys came here for. And if you made it to this point in the video, I love you. Thank you. I appreciate you. You made it to the point in the video where we're going over the investments that I like a lot. For low budget people, even like if you have a mil, two mil, I'm going to do it. And I think I have, I got like three mil for this investment. I might do some overnight flips though. We'll see how that goes. So fodder, 82 overall cards. You guys know how we've talked, we've talked about these multiple times. We talked about it the week before. 
buying them on the weekend and then they go up in price it happened they were like 800 900 on the weekend and they went up to 15 1600 i think it's going to happen again the reason why i like 82 overall cards i just want to show you as well the bids and you know they do work it's not like i'm just speaking out of my ass 700 700 700 and 83 in there see it's it's very easy what i get that one for 750 see this filter is really good and they all sell for I believe 1100 or a thousand coins right now. Let me just check real quick. 82s are selling for about 1100 coins around there. So the investment is 82s. I can actually show it right now. If you ever join the Twitch live streams, I always tell you guys this. I, I try to put stuff on screen when I like an investment. Boom, there you go. And we're gonna talk about it right now. So you can understand why are you telling me to buy those cards? If you've been here for the past like two to three weeks, you would know why we're doing this. It's very simple. Uh, I think I favorited it, actually. It's always been here. Is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's this one. This is the Future Star Academy upgrade. It's repeatable 50 times in total, and it's out for another week. It gives you a one of three 82 plus player pick, and this is why 82s are have been pretty high. And I, I said last week, you know, they get low on the weekend. You buy them, they go up on the week. Again, it's the weekend. They're low. They are easily, easily winnable at 700, 750, 800, 850, 900. I would not pay over 900 coins. You can make profit at 1K. If you want to buy them at 1K, by all means, go for it. I mean, if we look at their snipes, that's kind of what they're going for, but they're way cheaper on bid. The bids are very, very easy on these cards. Let's see. What do we got? One, one, I'm guessing. Even one, two on this guy. And I mean, you guys were just seeing me win these bids at 700, 750. It's, it's very, very easy to do on the weekend. It, it won't be easy once the weekend's over. That's why I'm saying when there's supply on the weekend, you buy these 82s. I'm going to get the investment thing off the screen. So we buy these 82s now on the weekend and we'll sell them Tuesday, Wednesday, around then when there's no supply and people are doing these player picks. So if you're buying them for 800 coins and they go to 1600 coins, which is very, very possible, you'll be almost doubling your coins before tax. After tax, it won't be doubling. It'll be just below that. So if you're on a low budget and you put one mil in, you could end up close to being at two mil. And that's really only you buying just a little over a thousand cards. That's not that hard. That won't take you that long. Um, let's move on to the next one, 83s. I kind of want to move over to Footbin just so I can kind of show you guys what this stuff looks like. Yeah, this is actually a really good way to show you guys the graphs. Look, so we'll look at the 14 day graph you see on the weekend it's kind of tough to see now it was easier earlier but it's you know it's later in the day so we don't see it it was showing sunday earlier but down on the weekend 82s were down at a thousand coins and less pretty much all weekend and then boom they went up during the week all the way up to 2100 coins on wednesday and then what happened the weekend comes around back down in price this is saturday friday saturday sunday back down at a thousand coins what happens the week this is you know um, this week, boom, back up 1500, 1600 coins. And then it's the weekend again. And what are we seeing? They're back down in price again. That's the simple move with the 82s. It's you're, you won't lose coins. You're, you, it's almost like guaranteed profit. Trust me on those 82s. That's very, very easy to do. Let's talk about the 83s now, actually. I think we have almost a very similar play on 83s. Now look down on the weekend. Very, very cheap. They were, this week they were they were really cheap but then boom up in price around wednesday and then back down on the weekend they were chilling around what just below 2k on this weekend and then boom up to 3k from 2k to 3000 coins and now they've been chilling at a fairly high price they're back down a lot they're down a good chunk so i think you know maybe we look to buy those they were down at like 1500 1600 at content I think they're up in price a little bit at the moment. I would say, I think I, I wrote 1400. Is that what I wrote? I wrote 1400 on the investment, but right now you might have to pay like 1500 and I'm fine with that. The 83s are a little bit riskier than the 82s. I'll definitely say that, but they're still just fairly low. I wouldn't say there's like the 82s, I'd say are probably zero risk, but the 83s, I'd say little risk but the thing is you don't have to buy as many 83s like you'll have to buy i think m less than half the amount of 83s that you would have to buy of 82s if you buy 2000 82s you're gonna have to buy probably like 800 900 83s you know so you know it's up to you 
which one you want to choose i'm thinking about doing the 83s this week just because i can drop three mil on them and if it goes really well i could make three mil if it doesn't i make what maybe one mil so i, I might just send the last three or four mil whatever it is that i have into this kind of a play and 1500 is probably the max i would look to pay who knows maybe tomorrow on saturday we get more supply more lightning rounds and they come down and they're like 14 1300 really easily but the bids i'm telling you guys are super easy on these cards it's because they're low rating they get packed a lot 82s get packed a ton 83s get packed a ton so there's a lot of supply and the bids are, are very easy to get good deals on them another one i want to mention you can try out 84s they've been doing really good recently I don't think I'm going to personally do this, but how much are they? Let's just take a peek. I think they're like 4K. They might be up a little bit. I would say for 84s, don't buy at 4K. It has to be below 4,000 coins. That's when I'll be like, okay, maybe I'll look to buy that. And maybe around like Tuesday, Wednesday, they're around 5,000 coins. And I'm guessing for this week as well, I'm guessing we're going back to our normal content schedule where Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday is when content gets, gets released. Maybe just maybe we get the what's it called another icon kind of sbc on sunday so maybe an icon sbc sunday or a hero sbc sunday and then maybe like monday a player pick we get upgrades on monday always but like maybe an 85 plus player pick and maybe some sort of party bag or 85 plus times five who knows but this sbc right here i'm about to craft it myself it expires on Sunday, so maybe when this expires on Sunday, maybe a hero player pick comes out or something like that. I don't know. I'm just kind of saying what could potentially come out. Also, content coming out uh, leak-wise, I think we have another SBC coming, Al Jabir hero. I think he's leaked to come out, and we just got Umtiti. What league is he in? I don't know. What league that man plays for? Anyone know where Umtiti plays anymore? I don't know, but this is the card. I'll show you guys real quick. If you don't want to see the Umtiti leak, I'm sorry. You're about to see it. Five, four, three, two, one. Boom. Umtiti looks decent. I don't. Leche, la leche. The milk. He plays for the milk. I wonder where that is. It says U.S. La Leche, United States Milk. That's interesting. Yeah, I don't know that team. Everyone's gonna flame me in the comments, but I'm being off. I'm not gonna just say yeah, I know who that is. I don't couldn't tell you maybe it's a French team who knows he's French I knew he played played for Barca Arsenal wanted him no clue where he went okay that is it though uh yeah that's it we went over everything investment stuff like that I'll be probably if you're in the VIP discord I'll be posting stuff later about stuff that I like maybe overnight flips and fodder simple guys look another 82 850 i don't mind it i like it i like it 800 on that out but he sells for 1200 easy easy boys trust me get on those bids that's it though any questions let me know in the comment section twitch live stream discord description down below thank you guys for watching this video i'll see you all in the next one peace